my name is Angel and I'm a product designer with Manzuri Uganda. Currently we deal with uh, string art, that's what we do right now. String art is about arranging strings on different points to create art, to create design with colored strings. We mainly use colored strings. We can also use wires, we can also use thread, different kinds of thread to create wall hangings. Uh, Manzuri right now does wall hangings but there are many many other things you can do like I said I'm a product designer with Manzuru and we have quite a number of products currently we are doing string art I've been doing string <laughs> for let me see 15 to 16 years yeah solo with no particular training no particular intention no particular intention. Yeah, I started collecting strings when I was quite little and I used them to do different things around the house. I used them to do bracelets with words. Uh, I remember when I was little I used to write words on bracelets. Uh, the bracelets were cut out of blue band tins because we didn't have many many things to use. We'd cut them out of blue band tins and then use yarn, the normal yarn, the colored yarn to do designs and the bracelets really look beautiful and that's how I, I, that's when I started using strings we also did weaving, doormats, used to do bugs those days and um, that's when I started using strings really so as time went on I continued uh, collecting strings and exploring just to cure my curiosity and um, I've always had strings really everywhere in my bag <laughs> where I stay and everywhere I really go with strings and I love to explore so I've been doing strings for quite a while quite a while I didn't learn it from school honestly I didn't learn it from school though I would have wanted to learn a few things from school I uh, started with it when I was young like how you can be in a community where people do things so I picked it up and the colors were really interesting. I just picked it up and moved on with it. Like I said, I don't have any I didn't have any intentions with it. I was just playing around with my curiosity, I was just playing around with my mind. But I discovered some things we did at campus in strings. For example, those formulas that have integrals, a lot of econometrics. Uh, I didn't do coding, yeah, but there's a bit of coding in what I do. I don't, I don't code, mm -mm. but there's a lot, there's some, there's that incorporated in what I do, and there's a lot of mathematics in what I do. So I can say there's a relationship between what I did at campus, what I studied, and what I do right now. So there was no particular relationship. I, it's not like one thing led to another, no. But of course, there's, I, there's mathematics in, in art, and that's the relationship I see, really. Yeah, I really can't put a finger to it. I think it's the colors and curiosity and the desire to bring my wild imaginations to life. I, um, I love to create anything, really. Anything I put my hands on. And strings have been available have been available like everywhere you go there's strings there are threads all over the place in my world they've been available i don't know about the rest of the world and uh, i picked it up and i just started creating and the curiosity kept on building and building and building and um, people liked what i did i used to do chandeliers at one point out of yarn and they really look beautiful so in my head i was like actually i can put these things on the market and people buy them my sisters kept on pushing me to put these things out there and sell them but yeah i just wanted to make things for myself or to give out and uh it's just curiosity curiosity i appreciate the process <laughs> i appreciate the process string art really needs a lot of patience a lot of patience and the process really is very rewarding I appreciate the process because it's very rewarding it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of um, work but it's very rewarding the challenges are faced 
along the way well the minor ones are i could say hammering my fingers <laughs> in my work i hammer my fingers like a lot my thumb this particular one a lot and it really disturbs me i don't know why i do it sometimes i don't mean to do it but i end up doing it so that thing just irritates me yeah the other challenge is maybe stereotyping the kind of work i do mainly is done by guys and men dominate the art world they almost dominate everything it's just of recent that women have started coming out so my work is a bit physical and i'm not talking about just recently ever since my whole i'm talking about from way back uh the things i do are quite physical so there's that stereotype because people refer to you as a weak vessel and what but we are strong women <laughs> so uh if someone is uh, having an issue with i don't know the way i do my work or whatever is transpiring in their mind i try not to mind about it because the work at the end of the day speaks for itself so i just put in my effort and do my work yeah and then the work does all the talking it's it doesn't really make sense to prove your worth through words or to prove your worth through anything I, i don't find that satisfying what i find satisfying is to just let the process and the product tell the story and i think i'm comfortable with that i'm more comfortable with that why strong arts that's a very hard question uh, for starters i don't only do string art <laughs> but it's what i do right now so why string art i am interested in it because of it's um what can i call it the possibilities in strings like i said earlier i discovered that there's a lot of mathematics in art so if you can have a geometric pattern pulled off in a string i feel like that's an area of interest i'm i'm curious to know what else can i create with these things and people have not seen them i can there's a way you can get really normal shapes shapes that we see circles squares and you create something slightly different from that but in string something that imitates a square but it's not a square something that imitates a circle but it's not a circle it's in strings and it's made by a hand and it's in color yeah so it's really intriguing to the mind string art is not something that has that is common in the in the country right now in, in the local market i could call it the local market uh there are people that do string art a lot of people do string art but uh it's not something that we usually see so that's also something that i'm interested in i'm interested in showing people out there this dimension that is that is new the dimension of art that is new and the possibilities that could come out of it and um string art is also something that is really uh what could i call it uh it involves a lot of creativity and uh troubleshooting and it involves it brings a spark to the brain <laughs> yeah and it it's interesting in brain development even if you are a kid even if you're an adult it is that thing that that it brings to your brain that is that is helpful to everyone very helpful it keeps your brain involved it keeps your brain young it keeps you going well the types of designs like um alia said uh, string art is about arranging strings to create geometric patterns so you have geometric shapes by geometric shapes i mean like squares hexagons decagons <laughs> you have all those, those shapes then you have parabolas you have the curves you have curves and all those are like designs you can just put on a wall or i don't know your balcony anywhere really and then we have the string art painting where you make a face or you make someone's someone's body or not just a body but even animals you can paint animals in string you can paint different types of things in string so you have the curves you have uh, the geometric shapes then you have also illustrations you could do a sheep you could do a um a dog 
uh, by ship I mean the ones that move on water. <laughs> then you can do different, really about anything. You can even have a scene. Let me just say, like children playing. You can have that in string. You can have just about anything in string. You can do a cultural background. You can do a cultural scene. You can do a community. You can paint a community in string. It's just another dimension of art, I should call it. And there are very many possibilities depending on how far you want to go. Whatever a painter can do, you can achieve. Just that um, in string art, uh, you have to be careful incorporating in all those colors. It's not as easy as just putting red here and green here. You have to be uh, quite careful where you put what, what color because now the blending is different from a painter's. Yeah, but uh, the, it's, it's similar to painting, I could call it. How is it relevant to you? Hmm, the benefits. Number one, it's used uh, in um, quite a number of places. It's used for decorative purposes. Yeah, there are people that, uh, that love art, they're consumers of art. So they love to look at beautiful things. Even if they can't make them, they just love to see them and collect them and have them and keep them and really keep looking at them. So there's that. It, uh, string art also brings satisfaction to such people. String art also, like like the way art is, art brings a unifying, it's, it has a unifying agent in it. Um, in the recent years, art had, um, it, art, I call it had a contribution in society before norms were established and rules were established there were these things that people used to do in society that would bring unity among them that would bring certain characters within them people would use art to to create to create to instill knowledge to instill behaviors in people and I, I really feel like string art is, is strong in that area because string art uh, string art makes you think it makes you think outside the box it makes you be imaginative yeah string art makes you want to involve yourself in things that build the community it's all about creating and building the community and being developmental so i think it's it's relevant in today's world because uh it has that ability to really spark um to be a unifying agent it is a unifying agent and also it is relevant in today's society because string art was invented to teach children mathematics that's the main uh, reason it was invented so even today children can learn from it and even adults can learn from it you can learn from it uh, you can put string art to good use in very many ways number one I see a lot of potential uh, if, if a string artist collaborates with an architect or with a painter. I see something, I imagine a lot of possibilities out of that. So string art can be also incorporated in, in the school curriculum, yeah, as an art, it's called art and crafts, yeah, as part of art and crafts to, to educate children. Like I said, it was used earlier in those other, back in the day. To teach children mathematics so it can be something that can be incorporated in the curriculum also and also we can put it to great use by buying it <laughs> and putting it in our hotels and using it for decorative purposes uh, i feel like that is something that can bring because it's color and color has a way of speaking to the soul color has a way of speaking to different to it has a way of arousing emotions that cannot really be said. So I feel like just like any other facet of art, string art is something that can serve a similar purpose. How I market my work? I market my work firstly through social media. Social media right now has played a very, very big role uh, because on social media, you just take a picture and upload it and someone shares it and um, they widen the scope really because I could know one or two people on social media but then the people I know know other people maybe out of the country or so or within and and um, that has been the major thing string art I don't have any regrets 
worked so far i feel like um every day comes with different opportunities every day comes with a different grace a different ability and uh, i don't have any regrets that i can think of even if i sat down to think of them i would not get them i don't regret anything and i believe that time can be redeemed uh, people should embrace string art string art really is really beautiful it's intriguing and string art can be used as as a, a bath you can give someone a birthday gift in string anniversary gift um, wedding gift it can just be a wall hanging it can just be i don't know something you look at in the morning and your face goes like hmm. it's because of the colors because of the way it's made and uh yeah if you have a design out there and you would want us to put it on the strings please contact us on the board in strings please contact us we can think through the ideas with you we can do something for you we can work with you yeah the prices are really friendly <laughs> friendly considering the work that you do it's uh <laughs> it's it's the process is really not something that is simple but you get along with it get along with it it's enjoyable uh, support us yeah buy the product make it go out there and <laughs> have a blast with it uh, we've done workshops before with with children at seven hills international school we had more coming until covid <laughs> rained on our parade <laughs> yeah but we do train uh, we are working on a program where we shall be training uh, children we want to start with children because we want to prepare the the training to 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 be really beneficial and effective so we like to start with children and then we'll go on to teach adults we do train and we are still preparing to bring out the best material right now we're not carrying out any training sessions but it's something that we are really really working on we want people to embrace string art we want people to be able to make their own art want string art to go out there we want people to be able to know about it yes about manzuru uganda manzuru uganda <laughs> um, manzuru uganda was uh, founded in 2017 and um, the ideas were founded <laughs> really at a very young age but uh, Manzuri Uganda was founded in 2017 and we were doing bottle art by then still using strings uh, like I said earlier Manzuri does uh, quite a number of things we design products uh, products that you've seen before things sorry material we use materials that you've seen before and we make something that blows your mind so we do different kinds of things just that we do string art right now and it's what we are majoring in um, our main aim is to make sure string art goes out there we want to teach as many people as we can about string art um, the goal is to really fight stereotypes and unemployment and to really I would want to inspire someone out there, people that have had bad stories about art. People tell others, do you think, do you think you're worth anything? Or do you think your art is going to take you anywhere? I've had those stories, but I want to inspire someone out there that has their passion, yeah, to continue with what they're doing through Manzuru. And that is one of the things that we want to, to see. And uh, we're currently a team of four people. Yeah, and uh, we're currently a team of four people and we're in Sassy. We are located in Sassy. Our number is plus two five six seven eight seven four three zero two one nine. You can contact us uh, through WhatsApp or you can call us. Check out our Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter handles and be sure to share our work and work with us. Yeah and embrace string art use just about anything oh the ones i use right now well if it's a wall i can get a nail and drill it through the wall and use the wall as my background but currently what i do i use wood 
food is easy to carry around it is easy to transport it is also durable yeah even the weed i use is durable there's a reason i use the weed that i use uh, i use nails i use thread stroke strings and uh, yeah they're colored <laughs> they're colored and then i use a hammer mainly it's just strings wood and nails yeah and then i have a mathematical set yeah those blah 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 so the main things are those three wood nails strings uh currently there's no group particularly that i'm part of that does string art in uganda i'm looking forward to that um there are people around that do string art we just need to collect ourselves <laughs> Yeah, and find ourselves and maybe widen the scope. But currently, I'm just with Manzuru, Uganda. Manzuru, Uganda. And uh, yeah, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, there are many possibilities in string art. If you're a youth and you're out there, if you're a young girl, a young boy, and you're out there and you want to pursue art, you want to pursue string art, my advice to you is that you should start now. Uh, explore go out find uh, find different things um, get exposed to different things uh, read widely get to know what's happening in the world by doing that you get to find out the different materials you can use you get to find out um, to widen your audience your target market you get to to know different things really uh, people's minds are sparked by different things you can find out something that i don't know or you get interested in something that someone else doesn't know and that becomes your special baby that becomes a special thing you can incorporate in your work so read as much as you can start now do what you do don't stop and when you start don't don't ever stop keep going and uh, really do what your heart tells you and your passion follow your passion because it is more satisfying i find it satisfying and I know you will. My favorite song. <laughs> are you recording? Uh, my favorite song. Where are you? Ah. I, I know two lines. Yeah, but let me find one. Um. I'm gonna put myself together Cause I've got some place to go And I'm praying when I get there I see everyone I know I wanna go to heaven To heaven Said I wanna go to heaven To heaven <laughs>